<laughs> okay, I have a question for Anika. <laughs> You're very beautiful. Sorry, you gotta say that. <laughs> I'm still fangirling, and they just all told different stories. I'm still fangirling, but um, <laughs> I'm normal. I'm, I'm I'm good. What are your feelings when you heard? What were your feelings when you heard that there was a black princess that Disney was creating? I don't know what the feeling was, but my thought was, I have to get that. <laughs> <laughs> That's for me. Um, I literally thought I have to do that. And here we are. Uh, I just An Anika was was the second person to uh, to audition for for uh, for Tiana uh, before Dream Girls actually had come out. Uh, right. But um, we were just blown away. Um, um, we felt like I remember we, we looked at each other and said, "That's going to be our next princess." Even though we had a lot of more uh, auditions to come, but we knew it then. Yeah, yeah it was this great, this great combination of, of like intelligence and kindness and kind of like, you know, bourbon on the rocks uh, voice that she has. It was just great, and 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 <laughs> immediately for a writer, it's like, oh, she's going to be great to you know, uh, great to write for, because the intelligence comes through in every word she says, and and there is this. You want to root for her, you know. When you hear, her, and I hadn't met her or anything, you just want to root for her, and it was just a blast. So, thank you. I'm gonna tell you, my first audition was the night that Dreamgirls premiered in Los Angeles. I left the premiere. I did not do one bop. I did not go to a party. I did not drink a drink. I went back to my hotel, and I made my sister-in-law come with me and work with me on my lines for my audition the next day. <laughs> the second audition I had, I was shooting a film, a TV show, terrible, in <laughs> Australia. <laughs> in Australia. And I had flown out to Australia, which is like 125 hours. <laughs> and I shot the next day after I landed. And the following morning, I got back on the plane and I came back to LA, and the very next day I had my second audition <laughs> for The Princess and the Frog. A and never once did I feel, oh my God, I can't believe I have to do all this. Never once did I feel I was not where I was supposed to be. Never once did I feel like this girl was not me. I felt like I knew her from the moment I read the sides. And now I'm gonna cry, so. <laughs> <laughs>